Hi, this is Daniel Hutchins, and today I want to talk about some of my uh, movies from my Blu-ray collection. Okay, so I'm only so due to the fact that I only have six minutes of studio time. I'm only going to maybe talk about a couple of them. Okay, so I'm going to also make the explanations as short as possible. Okay, so we have my brand new Blu-ray. We have Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, the Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, I think, was a very, 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 very good ending to Star Wars. And the Skywalker Saga. Because, you know, it kind of tied everything all together to a really, really epic, but also a very, very meaningful closure. Okay. Next, we have Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame, if you remember, was also another memorable moment in somatic history. Now... I have done a video review on this before, so you might want to check that out. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. Now I have some other videos that I've never reviewed before. So we have the Diary Wimpy Kid Dog Days. Now this is a Diary Wimpy Kid movie. I think it's probably the best one because, you know... It's Greg and Riley, and they're together, and you know, they're having lots of fun in the summer. Okay. Next, we have Die Wimpy Kid, Roger Quills. Now, this is okay. It's just, you know, it's different. It's just, you know, kind of centered more, kind of more to Greg's older brother. Next, we have Die Wimpy Kid. The original. Now I've watched this thousands of times since its release and it's a classic. Enough said. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now I like the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 more so than the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie I'm going to show you. But yeah, this, you know, is a very special movie that I personally loved myself. Guardians of the Galaxy the original from 2014 was one of the best movies of 2014. Enough said. Then you have the Wolverine. Now the Wolverine is an is a special that just had Wolverine and he did a lot of stuff in this movie in Japan. Enough said. Then you have another Wolverine solo movie. You have Logan. Now this ending is very, very, very sad. And a lot of people cried at the end because he died. Enough said. Then you have Iron Man 3. Now Iron Man 3. Now I know a lot, a lot of people hated it. But my favorite reason I like Iron Man 3 is the Marvel opening. Because the Marvel opening has one of my favorite songs by Eiffel 65. I'm blue. So yeah. It's definitely, definitely memorable. And it's had some time. That I really, really so much enjoyed. Running out of studio time here. So I got Superman Red Sun. I did a review on that. Check that out. And I have the Lego Batman movie. Now the Lego Batman movie was one of my favorite movies of 2017. Probably on the list of my favorite Lego movies there ever was. Then we have Thor Ragnarok. Now Thor Ragnarok is a very, 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 very good movie. And it's probably the best Thor movie that's out there. So... Then you have Thor Dark World, which is the worst Thor movie. Enough said. Then you have Man of Steel 
Blu-ray in 3D. Now, I don't have the 3D glasses, but this is good. Enough said. Then you have Gotham, the third complete third season. I've only watched this maybe a few times, but it's really good. Enough said. And then last, you have the Wolverine X-Men, the complete series. It was really, really good, and you should definitely check it out. So, sorry guys, but I'm running out of studio time. So, hope you guys like that. And if you guys get a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and you guys have a nice night.